Greetings my lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. As you can see, I am out in the great outdoors. Today is a little follow-up video. I'm going to be tasting some curries that were sent to me by Knaves of Hearts. Thank you so much for sending them to me. I can't wait to taste them. If you've missed that first tasting I did, it was one of my favorite MRE tastings ever. I shall put the link up here and you can check that out. This piece of hair is in my eyes. So the reason why I don't film outside often is because of all these kinds of things. There are bugs that are swarming around me. Hopefully they won't be too distracting while I eat and hopefully they won't eat all my curry. <laughs> and these are instant pre-cooked Japanese curries. He said troops love these, so I can't wait to give them a taste myself. There are probably people walking behind me. You can just ignore them because this is a public park. Yeah. These are made by Curry House Coco and I have the mild pork curry flavor. I have the pork curry flavor and the beef curry. So let's start things off with a bit of a snafu. <laughs> I totally forgot the rice. I had a pot of rice cooking and I have a bug on my forehead. Did you see that? I just killed that bug. Oh, you have to have curry with rice, but I forgot mine in the rice pot at home. <laughs> So I'm here with my Coleman stove, my pot of water, and my curries, but no rice. But I'm going to taste these anyways because I'm out here. I'm going to get my fire going. All right. I'm going to get my water boiling. So the brown one is beef curry. It says beef kare. And it says you can boil them for five minutes in water or you can nuke them in the microwave. They come in this simple packet like this. Look at that. I'm just gonna pop that in there. That is the beef. I'm hoping that because these are Japanese that these are gonna be color-coded, but we shall see. This is butakare, so this is the pork. Oh, they're not. Okay, so I predicted incorrectly. These all look the same. So this one expires in November. So that is the pork, we'll remember that one. The December one will be the beef. The November one is the pork. And the last one is the mild pork curry, and it is yellow. And this is buta kare, and this is the mild spice. And this too has the same kind of packet. But this one is in October. Perfect. This water is obviously not hot yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this boil for five to seven minutes before I do the tasting. All right, be right back. All right, so I'm back and my curries have been boiling and they're all nice and hot. Let's go ahead and give them a taste. Let's try the beef one first. This one had the December expiration date and it has a handy dandy zip thing. Let's give that, oh boy, look at that. Oh, I should probably explain a little bit about kare first. For those of you that are unfamiliar with Japanese curry, uh, kare rice, it is a dish very, very popular in Japan, but it's not like a typical Indian curry. They tend not to be as hot, although you can get it quite hot. It's more like a stew and it's sweet and it typically has some kind of protein, beef or chicken with potatoes and carrots. That's your most basic one, but they're all different kinds of permutations. I actually have a recipe for it. And if you wanna see that video, I'll put that link up here as well. So here is the beef version. As you can see, it's quite soupy. Reason being is this is always served with rice and eaten with a spoon. Great big chunks of beef. And there, there's our little bit of carrot. Where's our potato? I don't see the potato. All right, let's give this a taste. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Bugs. The beef is really well cooked, super, super tender. The sauce is scrumptious. Nice and spiced, but not spicy. You can taste the curry powder in there. It has a little bit of sweetness in there. And the vegetables as well are nicely cooked as well. This doesn't have very much meat in it, just a couple chunks, but scrumptious. This is the pork one. This was for the November. Ooh, ooh, that one looks delicious too. This one has a slightly lighter color. This too contains small pieces of carrot. Oh, and the pork pieces look almost more like bacon. Much smaller pieces and a good amount of fat. But even less meat seems in this one. That one smells a little bit different. It smells a little sweeter, less spiced. Mmm, mmm. That one is good as well. The meat is completely different. Still tender, but nice and fatty and succulent, almost like pork belly. The sauce is very different. It's a little bit sweeter and less curried. 
I love the pork pieces in there, nice and unctuous and kind of like chewy bacon when you get that little fatty bit in there. Delicious. So I only brought two bowls, so I'm gonna have to taste the last one, which is the mild pork in my actual saucepan. Ooh, and that one has a very light color to it. Almost like coconut curry. If there's wind sound, my apologies. <laughs> This is why we film in studios, because we can control all these factors, as opposed to being outside. All right, I'm not gonna complain anymore, although my spoon has just fallen into my curry. <laughs> Let's pull that out, lovely. At least I brought paper towels. All right, so this is the mild curry. It's much lighter in color. Has the same kind of pork though, kind of this bacony cubed bits. And that one is definitely mild. It has the least curried flavor of the three. It's still nicely seasoned and very rich tasting. And this has the same style of pork as in the pork curry. Still quite pleasant, but of the three, I definitely like the beef one the best. That one had the most complex flavors, the most aggressive spiciness, although it wasn't spicy at all, and just really, really, really comforting and savory. Like that one the most. But all in all, for the amount of work that you have to put into these, I would highly recommend these. These are delicious. You can doctor them up with a little bit more spice if you like, and you don't have to refrigerate them. You can keep them in your pantry. You can take them backpacking. These are brilliant. All right, big thanks again to Name of Hearts for sending these to me. I'm definitely going to be looking for these the next time I go to the Japanese market. And I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Be sure to follow me on social media, share this video with your friends, like this video if you liked it, and I shall see you in my next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye.